everybody, and welcome to possibly the final episode of 2021 of the Compi Crew podcast. And with me, I have my boy Dan. What's up? And Jimmy. What's up? How are we doing, fellas? Good. Uh, pretty swell. Yeah, pretty right. Swell? Shut the don't you fucking can. <laughs> Takes don't, my word Jimmy, every time. don't even start. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even want to say it anymore. <laughs> Boys, 2021. It's almost over. Good riddance. Yeah, Good. It's been, it's Good been a riddance. long year. Very long. Know. Uh, it has been a long year, but uh, my goodness, it, it it has been a journey. At least for me, I've I done so much shit this year that I didn't think I would do, and it's it's just crazy to look back. Um, what did I do? I did the Spartan race. I did the right. I did my first Spartan race. Right. I I went to San Francisco for the first time. I mentioned that on the podcast. I went to Las Vegas for EDC. Uh, I drove to North Carolina twice, one to see my cousin, and then one was for the Spartan race, but I, we also hiked. What does the Spartan race entail? Like, what do you what do you have to do in it? So, the one that I did was the 5K race. So, it was um, a 3.3 mile ra- uh, run, or race. It was, a, it was well, quote-unquote race, because you are kind of... Like, you're not racing, but, but like, uh, if you uh, see somebody next to you, right, you want to so beat them. Well, no, when, you're, you're running from Leonidas the whole time. Oh, God. <laughs> Um, so they have, they have like an elite squad for the Spartan race where it, you, it's like early in the morning and they actually compete for like first place. But the one that we did was just, you know, go at your own pace and you know, whatever place you get, what it is. Um, yeah, the elite but, hunt down the rest of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Horrifying. They, they give they give us a 20 minute start and they just come sprinting after us. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, so it's, it's a 3.3 mile race, um, with 20 obstacles in between. And the obstacles can vary between uh, one of them was the monkey bar. Uh, one of them you had to carry uh, like a 30 or 40 pound sandbag over your shoulder while terraining through like, uh, at least where we were in North Carolina, it was Asheville. The, we had, we picked up the sandbag and you could either have the strap where you carry it on one shoulder and swap it to the other, or you just kind of put it around your neck and like hunched over a oh, little bit. Oh, kind of both. It, or, yeah, exactly. And um, I think I did one on one side and then one on the other. Um it fucking sucked because it was like a steep hill, kind of like you're, you're talking maybe almost a 45 degree angle. So you're kind of you were yeah. sliding down and you had to like struggle back. Oh, it was oh my god, that was probably one of the worst ones. Uh, what else was there? Uh, there was a rope climb. There was like a 20 foot rope climb where you had to okay. climb to the top, hit the bell, and then come back down. Um, then were you allowed to jump down? Uh, I mean, if you're brave enough, <laughs> uh, I definitely wasn't. I slid down and uh, I got some uh, rope oh, burn. You slid uh, down. Oh uh, no! Well, you know, I was dumb. I did. The, I did. I slid down at first because I was. I was just weak at that point. I, I was struggling. <laughs> okay. To top. Yeah, uh, almost, almost. But no, I. I went up there and I hit it, and uh, I started sliding down. I slid down a little too fast, and uh, when I hopped off, it was like a. Uh, well, it's healed now, but it was, Oh yeah, I it got was. Blisters uh, on my fingers. It was not a good feeling. I'll tell you that. And um, it is a couple other ones. One one memorable one is the mud dunk. So there's a wall. There's a wall above a pit of like mud water or dirt, okay. like mud water, and you have to go under it and come out, and like you're all muddy, and that that's kind of like the whole thing. Like Spartan races do that all the time. Yeah. And um, yeah, no, it was great, and they give you a medal, and they I took a screenshot of my timestamp and what place I got out of the group that I was in, and yeah, that was. Really I tried awesome. to. Re- it said last, right? <laughs> said uh last place slowest time yeah you know the, the rope climb really got me you know <laughs> and then the, the they were piping blisties. up and he was still going on to the rope <laughs> hey uh you need help there buddy um, no, got, i'm good we, we got the ladder i'm good i'm just gonna chill up here and um uh-oh cats are uh what the hell <laughs> the battle for territory they're, they're, they're just staring into each other's eyes now battling for dominance Bobby, what are you doing yeah <laughs> Oh, oh man! Now she's looking at you. Um, yeah, so that was awesome. And then, um, where did I go? I went to uh, I went to uh, Ithaca, upstate, oh, okay. about five hours away. Yes. that was really nice. Uh, did two hikes up there. I went to a uh, state Minnewaska, did a hike there during uh, it was like February, March. So the lake, um, what a little was chilly. Aust- uh, Austin, I think it was called. I don't remember the na- la- name of the lake, but it was like frozen over. And it was really cool. Did you ever skip um, a rock on a frozen lake? No, I Oh, haven't. it sounds so cool. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, we, oh, we, isn't it like ting, ting? We yeah, were, it's I'm like, not doing it it's, <laughs> we were, we it's were like ting, ting, ting. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah, it, it's like an echo through the whole... Like, you can, I, I used to do it when I worked over in Dowling, when, yeah. the, uh, when the river would freeze over. I would go over and I would just throw rocks across the lake and you'd hear like... Boop, 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 boop. 
<laughs> it, it was like the, it was the weirdest. It was like an alien sound, and all that you could see like some neighbors like peeking their head, like what's going on? <laughs> it's the time again. And then they'll just see me like all, looking all stupid, like ha ha, because it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, is it kind of like that sound when you um, you kind of flick a metal wire and it does like that noise? Yeah, kind of like that, yeah. or is it uh, slightly different? Obviously, when, but, when um, it's winter time, we'll have to go to a frozen lake. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. you got to hear it. <laughs> no, but where, it's where we <laughs> were, it was it was like a few hundred feet up, you know. So we weren't anywhere oh, close. So you're telling me you can't throw that far? <laughs> no, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Amateur. Um, Amateur. Yeah, but. That's just kind of some of the things that I've done this year that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I don't know. What What about you guys? What have you What have you Have you done anything? Um, I have done the nothing. worst memory. No, I, I've done. <laughs> Dan, stuff. you got I married just, this year. <laughs> I did get married. That was this year. Wow. And you, I mean, you also proposed this year, technically too. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. So yeah. Yep. That's how it started the year. I proposed. Um, she did say yes oh, after guys, a lot. Yeah. You after you I should have gotten married at the end of the year, be like a beginning end of year thing. Yeah. It was too too long of a time. It would have been too much stress. But yeah, I tied her up, and then eventually she said yes, so I let her go. Um, <laughs> he he locked her in a room with the old star by Smash Mouth playing. <laughs> yes, yeah. so she said yes. Yep. All right, exactly. uh, please, I'll say yes. <laughs> That's what Good. I thought. Somebody Good. once told me you're gonna say yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there was wow, shit. It's been a long year. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel like that long though. I feel like you got married like. A month ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got married in but it was August. Like, I was gonna say it was August, right? Yeah, we did a we did a cool Miami trip in uh, June. That was awesome. And honestly, after that, like I think we went uh, we went towards the end of June because my birthday is in June. So we kind of went leading up to my birthday. And after that, I was like, oh, I did summer because <laughs> like you go to Florida. <laughs> also, it's so goddamn hot in Florida, like with the humidity. Oh yeah. yeah. So and that was the end of June. So after I got back. It was almost July, and I was like, nah, I did all of summer, especially because we got a crash course in, like, Miami. Every day there is pretty much a party, so... <laughs> you got we a crash out, course in Miami. Oh, I mean, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, we we basically partied every day, and um, after that, I was like... Hell yeah. I don't, I don't even care <laughs> about the rest of summer. But, <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> yeah, but then it was just kind of leading up into uh, us getting married in August, and um, yeah, shit, what else did we do? Jen, what did we do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what what else did you guys do this year? What else did, what did we do this year? I don't like. You yeah. said we got married. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. yes. oh yeah. Wait, I, he, I had had thing, he had to think about it for a second. Think about it. So long ago. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we also got engaged this year. Tyler. Yeah, we got engaged. I, did, I got said married. that too. Yeah. Um. Uh, we you, went to Miami. Oh, we uh, to no, we didn't go to Cats this year. You uh, you guys went to uh you guys went to Philly. We, you went to Philly. We went to Oh yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah! You went to Philly. Yeah, because okay, that, so we went to Philly. <laughs> yeah, because you went to that. It cool was after that show. huge, like, um, that huge rainstorm. Remember, like, all the roads were flooded over in Philly when you guys were going. But it wasn't. When it wasn't. No, yeah, yeah it wasn't we, when you when went. We, but like, yeah, when we went, it was fine. Yeah, like, yeah. two days before you were gonna go, like, all the roads were flooded. That was cool though. Yeah, that that was a cool little. The trip. flooding was dope. The flooding was <laughs> sick. <laughs> we love property damage. <laughs> um, oh, the, the really cool ramen place that was all anime themed. Oh yes, in Philly. Okay, so yes. Philly was a cool trip. Speaking um, of anime places, yes. there's a Naruto ramen place open in, I think, Patchogue. Oh, I, I've seen a... Uh, yeah, I've seen yeah, it. We should I haven't, go. I haven't went there. Yeah, we should go. Uh, is it Patchogue? Because I thought there was a place Babylon? in... Maybe no, Babylon. I went, I went there yesterday. It's called Ninja Ramen. Yes. Um, I went there. They have a uh, a um, mural with... A, it's just like Naruto when he's doing like the famous... Uh, posed with the chopsticks in his hand, he's yeah, like pointing with them. Uh, they got that on the wall. Um, but no, there's another place in. Oh, it's Woodbury. Uh, oh. I think I think that's uh Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. I was gonna okay. say Hicksville, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's more out west on Long Island. Okay, the one yeah, I'm thinking about. Woodbury would make sense then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. That we gotta go there. I think it looks really sick. Yeah, the, the one in uh, the one in Philly was pretty. It was cool. Um, I mean, the Philly trip in general was cool. We rented out a uh, like a big, big ass uh, apartment building, and it had a rooftop. And then oh, uh, the one where you fell off through. I did fall. <laughs> I did slide down a roof. Um, it wasn't. It wasn't much. It was like okay. So there was a a roof, and then there was like a little AC unit, and then right above that, like probably f two feet above that, was a pitched part of the roof. But it was like at a forty five degree angle. So okay. So the first night jen marked it she was like don't go up there and i'm like why would i even do that yeah why would i do that so then yeah that same night i went up there um 
because it was completely dry and everything. So I went up there, no problem. The next Did day, spite. <laughs> the next day, no, I just like to climb shit. <laughs> the next day, it, it had rained, so I tried to go up there, just slipped, it just slipped right down, and then I saw like the AC unit that I was about to fall on, and I was like, oh, no. I can't do that. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna break this AC unit. So like, I was like, I'll, I'd rather just fall onto the floor. <laughs> it was roll, very, roll over to the side. Yeah, it wasn't very very far. It's you like, do like to climb things. I do like to climb we things. Used, yeah. We used to climb um the like the storage pods yeah, storage or whatever things, yeah. yeah always fun it's like the meme at this moment dan knew he, he fucked, fucked up, up. <laughs> he just slipped out. yeah i was just like yeah whatever i fall skateboarding all the time so it was it, it was an easy rollout but uh the ramen place mm. that was there um it was cool the decor was awesome you know they had like figures they had a uh, one piece playing on big screens and all that they had a lot of cool like artwork on the walls the ramen was not good though mm, really yeah nah the ramen so was... it was all for like decoration all, all for the aesthetic yeah, yeah. the um <clears throat> sorry the dish that sam got because i saw it on her story wasn't it like a like a what's it called karage is that the name of the takiyaki. dish karage it's, uh, it's a hokage no, it, it, no, no the, it's like the chicken the takoyaki is uh yeah that's the octopus that, no, it's like, uh the it, karage it's chicken. like chicken over rice takoyaki is, is that what did she get i uh, don't think so she uh, got uh, uh, got mm. well kar karage got maybe it. somebody got it yeah for sure um to be fair chicken stuff is the best stuff basically everything but the ramen was really good the ramen yeah, was just not that good that, that's what i heard tough noodles. yeah the, it, yeah the the noodles were a little stiff uh the flavor was not very dense like mm. it, it was a very mild flavor um and not in like a like a good like fresh mild flavor way it was just like it's been a, out it's been sitting out for a little while no it's just like they didn't add enough flavor oh, um, yeah have you been to ichiran in brooklyn Oh yeah. Well, we went to uh, we went to Ichiran in uh, Japan. Oh well, I'm. I mean, obviously, <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry over there. But <laughs> sorry, Blev. Oh, this sorry, new. We went to the real one. <laughs> What's up? It was yeah it, yeah it's <laughs> around was the worst place in japan that we went to but here it's kind of a standard ramen place but also here they mark it up so much mm, yeah, yeah, yeah the it, like it's pretty expensive not yeah gonna lie. <laughs> it'll, yeah like it would be i i know in, in manhattan at least uh a Dude. bowl will run you like 18 oh bucks my god yeah. yeah when I'm i used like, what when i used to go to um uh one two three uh whatever street um that's where like my company was big based out of it was literally well, that sounds one, fake two, that sounds like a fake street. It, it really sounded it was like one two three something street i forgot the name of it but that's like the address yeah it was the weirdest thing but um there used to be a ramen place around the corner and i would go there whenever i had to go to like the um the building yeah and it was so expensive so expensive yeah no that that's the thing and uh in japan at least uh the ichiran wasn't expensive because they knew what they had which wasn't shit um well also the food there isn't super expensive from what i hear oh it's cheap it, yeah it, it's, it's pretty cheap yeah it's there, cheap right? it's good yeah oh i love it uh can't wait to go back 2022 maybe or three probably three um mm -hmm. but yeah each around there was pretty cheap so when i saw it was here i was like oh cool you know it's a very specific experience uh for the u.s at least because it's like more individual things mm -hmm. you know it's more individual you just sit and eat your ramen pretty much by yourself like yeah. they section it off but um yeah the the markup is too much especially when there's other good ramen places you can go to yeah yeah new york is a great food place so like there's always whatever <laughs> new york is very diverse in their food yeah oh, whatever yeah. whatever food thing you want like there's gonna be a good restaurant for it so like you don't have to settle for overpriced ramen yeah sure. i remember uh around where that building was i was talking about there was like chinese food um like all sorts of like uh spanish food uh there was italian food there was oh yeah like like bodegas. japanese they had, food. Like bodegas. They had everything there yeah literally right. everything was in like one block radius oh yeah yeah for sure yep uh, the, well, there was food trucks everywhere too i've always i always wanted to try the halal guys food truck mm. yeah i don't, I don't um they have, sure a, they have a um, they have um they have an actual restaurant now, yeah right? now yeah. In, uh, on main street near ralph's oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, well, what about you, Jimmy? I did nothing this year. <laughs> nothing? You didn't? Uh, you didn't I, I, bought, I bought a new car. That's pretty cool. Or I didn't really buy go. I ordered it. Which and I'm probably not going to get it until next You just next did. Year. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a, that's a next year accomplishment. Yeah. Do, do you go anywhere? Any vacation? No. No? no? Oh, man. <laughs> I went nowhere. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you, you at least, you, this year was when you got your, uh, like, your new setup in your house, right? You yeah. get that lower level, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was like that was this year, yeah. right? Pretty much. Yeah, it was about this year. Yeah, beginning of this year onwards. Yeah, right? around that. Yeah. Yeah. So you get a whole cool like it's almost it's the size of an apartment, pretty much. So. Oh yeah, that's pretty sick. I got, yeah, I got a living room. I got a like bedroom. I got a giant closet. That is also my like workstation for 
whatever I want to do in there, like computer work. Yeah. Yeah. So pretty sick. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I did. <laughs> <laughs> that and uh, just work. Work a, a lot of work. Yeah. I worked every day. I got to see a bunch of cool movies. That was cool. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I got yeah. to see uh, Black Widow before it came out. Um, oh, yeah. With the security job? Yeah. 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 I got to see Black Widow before it came out. I got to Clifford. see Clifford yeah. the Big Red Dog. Uh, Let's go. Just recently, I got to see um, Jordan's uh, A Journal for Jordan. Uh, yeah. You said you cried. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I cried. Now, that's. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. That's from Michael Jordan, right? Yes. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I really thought it was, but it's not. <laughs> when, I, when I first saw it, I was like, wait, did they do like a documentary on Michael Jordan? <laughs> Another like, one. And then I got there. I was like, Another oh, no, one. it's just, it's just, it's actually based off a true story. It was really good. Oh, okay. I highly recommend it. It comes out in uh, December 25th. That's what, what day is that? That's not so many. It's Christmas. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will be taking off for Christmas and for uh, New Year's as well. Mm. So it's the last you'll hear of us. That's right. At least <laughs> until next year. year. Yeah. Um, not forever. For, oh, God. <laughs> oh, I forget to tell you guys. Oh, my goodness. I forget to tell you guys. Um, uh, we're liquidating. <laughs> <laughs> liquidating oh. what? <laughs> so I guess uh, we should jump into at least some news. Probably I should. I, yeah. I, ha I have a couple I have a couple of things of news here on my phone. Um, so I've said this before, I feel like, in other news, but we actually have an air date for... The Devil is a Part Timer season two. Yeah, I think you said it in like every podcast so far. I, 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 yeah. No, you know what it was because I remember, I remember when it got announced, and then I said that they were going to talk more about it, and then they finally talked more about it. So now it's going to air next year, July, July twenty twenty two. I'm excited when, for that. Is when the uh, second season is going to come out. It's that's like ten years later, right? I, I don't know when the first season it, came uh, out. Or 2013, I think. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Uh, almost a, ten, almost yeah. 10 years, That's a dude. long hiatus. Yeah, yeah, right? Big time. And the, the first season was cool. It was funny. I, I had to catch, I had to watch that. I haven't yeah. personally watched it, but... Yeah, it, it's not It's not super long. It's it's cool. Though. Like 12, 4, 24 episodes? I think 24. Or? Yeah. I love okay. animes that are only like 24 episodes. Oh, you get, yeah. You, you can finish them in like a week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you take a day or two and just binge through them and you're like, all right, good. Check Which, that off the list. looking through like all the stuff I watched this year... Um, They're you know, all 24. It's, <laughs> it's not a crazy amount, but um, I mean, yeah, I think they all pretty much are 24, but yeah, I, I watched more than I thought at least. You know, I, I've been busy this year, yeah. but I, I definitely watched more than I thought. After, like, going back to see all the stuff that I watched, I noticed that, too, where I'm like, wow, I actually watched a decent amount. Like, this is, a, this is like, the year I watched all, like, the older animes. Okay. That's cool. Um, then, let's see what I got. Um, I have, um, for, there's some unfortunate news in the past week where uh, anime screenwriter uh, Keiko Nobumoto, uh, Nobumoto passed away unfortunately on december 1st at the age of 57 uh she was battling it's hard to pronounce this so sorry if i get it wrong but it's uh esophageal cancer i don't know what part of the body that affects but um unfortunately she passed away from it uh she worked on a number of hit titles including the screenplay for uh, Marcos Plus, Tokyo Godfathers, Cowboy Bebop, and Cowboy Bebop Knock on Heaven's Door alongside alongside Sato, as well as writing scripts for other, um, let's see, uh, Samurai Champloo, Space Dandy, and Carol and Tuesday. Um, oh, wow. Uh, she is most noted as the original creator of the series Wolf's Reign. And she also was the scenario supervisor for the first Kingdom Hearts game. So, oh wow, yeah. So that's, that's a, a bummer. That's yeah, young. that's a unfortunate loss in the anime industry. Yeah, having all those uh, big titles under your belt. I said, that's a lot of that's like a lot of accolades to have. Yeah, yeah, big time. That's that's so young too. That's that sucks. It it's unfortunate. I, I don't know if it's just something with the folk in, in J Japanese or Japan, but I feel like I always see them dying at a young age. Like, I remember there was the voice actress for Bulma where she passed away and she was like around 50 or something. And then now... Um, this year specifically, yeah. yeah well, I, I mean, know. there were a lot like of crazy. deaths in the industry. A lot of them were in say, like their 80s. This is like but... the, what was it, like 2019 or all those famous people died in like one year? Oh, yeah. But yeah, that year too. They were they were all like 50s, 60s yeah. as well. But um, I don't know. I, I just feel like all the all the noticeable ones, at least to me, I feel like that. I mean, I guess because it's a young age, maybe that's why it's more. It's probably notable. more. Yeah, because I'm like, wow. It's... I did see a whole list of as I was looking through the 2021 things that happened. Mm -hmm. A whole list of uh, you know, Japanese industry people that died, but a lot of them were in like their 80s, 60s, yeah, 80s, yeah. 70s. Okay. Like when it's like 70s and 80s, you're like, all right, it's like old age. But when it's like 50, 60, yeah, that, it's that's like, it's still that's young. That is, yeah. Uh, actually, another example. Uh, another unfortunate passing. Um, the uh, 
Masayuki, uh, the designer of the NES and the SNES, passed away at 78. So they, yeah. So but um, yeah, he started working for Nintendo in 1972, and um, you know, again, that's just you know, that's it, a shame. it's just yeah. it's, it's it's one of those things where you know we're also pretty big gamers uh, for the most part. So it's just one of those things where you know you see that and you're like, damn man. I mean, that's a legacy. At, le at least yeah. he lived, you know, to eight seventy eight. That's a pretty good age. But, yeah, it's you know, not bad. You you, cre you created the design for two of the most popular consoles in history. Right, iconic. Like, you yeah, you know what I mean. So, for sure. That's just one of those things where I just saw that and I was like, you know, I definitely gotta throw his name in there. Uh, actually, it's a uh, Masa. It's Masa Yuki Uemura. There, that's his. Full, okay. That's his full name. So okay. Just to get that out there. Um, but on some lighter news. Netflix uh, quietly posted the first teaser for a new original anime film produced by Wit Studio called Bubble. And, oh, Bubble and looks sick. The so when I was going through the news this past week, the poster art or like the the key art that they released for the movie or the series, uh -huh. I was like, whoa, this looks really cool. Yeah, like, it looks beautiful. The art on it looked amazing. Yeah, and it says it's described as uh, let's see. Uh, the story is set in Tokyo after bubbles that broke the law of gravity rained down upon the world. Cut off from the outside world, Tokyo has become a playground for a group of young people who have lost their families, acting as a battlefield for parkour team battles as they leap from building to building. Uh, Hibiki, a young ace known for his dangerous playstyle, makes a reckless move one day and plummets into the gravity-bending sea. His life is saved by Yuta, a girl with mysterious powers. The pair... Then hear a unique sound audible only to them. Why did why did Yuta appear before Hibiki? Their encounter leads to a revelation that will change the world. You keep and... like nose breathing into the microphone. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I just I, I just hear. <laughs> <laughs> I don't notice, <laughs> but I was and I, you know I was I like, was oh, down this is gonna something. <laughs> yeah. this is gonna be one of those anime where there's just a mystery to solve in the background where like I, it it just caught me. The, the visual caught me. I read. <laughs> was that on purpose? <laughs> no. No. Okay. I looked at you as I was breathing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. <laughs> um, but yeah, the ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the visual really caught me. I saw. I thought to myself, this looks really cool. Uh, I read the description. I went, wow, this sounds even cooler now because it sounds strange but very interesting at the same yeah. time. You're like, what are these bubbles for? Why is there no gravity, apparently? That's my question I, every day I, when I wake I, up, yeah. <laughs> Where do these bubbles come from? Yeah. <laughs> Levitating what are they in a bed. Oh. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Jen woke up like 15 minutes early, then you just start blowing bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, uh, no, that looks cool. Very. There's no release date, I think. They just teased it. Yeah. So um, hoping we'll get a release date for that soon. And then um, here's the big one. Netflix cancels Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, that, after that was one, one of my, yeah. season. <laughs> yep. After three, it's been like three weeks. Yeah, they were probably like, been, it's not even been out for a month. Immediately, yet. they were like, nah. They're like, well, wow, we're not famous. We're not popular at all. And <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, I can only speak for myself. I do want to see why it's so bad, but I know Dan and Jimmy already I've, said they I've don't seen touch pictures it. and I know why it's bad. <laughs> I can't, yeah, I can't commit that amount of time because it's what 10 episodes right and uh, they're like i would say they're like 30 nine, 40 nine minutes each yeah i think they're, like, I think they're yeah. almost like an hour each usually like netflix shows yeah, like 40 something each. minutes yeah. or so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah i can't commit them amount to of time show. to yeah to something that i know is at most mixed <laughs> which it's sad too because the actors were right. really good and it was right. just shitty writing except for the one for ed yeah everyone else oh, yeah. seems like yeah oh, i heard ed reminded a lot of people of mandy from uh icarly <laughs> did you watch the scene yeah we watched it here yeah yeah <laughs> it was horrible um yeah, that was horrifying. Oh that was painful. You know, somebody somebody commented on it, and they were like, uh, this gives me impromptu uh, cosplay scene vibes in the hallway at a convention or something along those lines. And I was like, it <laughs> really does. It really does. Dude, the goggles were so bad. The acting. I don't care about the goggles. The acting. Oh, God. It, the acting and the way they directed the scene, like... Um, like they hovered too long with the filming on her awkward body language. Like yeah. if they had done more cuts or something, maybe it would have worked a little bit better. But it was like the filming was awkward and her acting was so awkward. I just I hate I it. just think they have to take a break for a little while and really sit down and see what they can do to make a good live action anime. Because they have not made one actually good live action anime that I can think of. What, Netflix? Just like anything in general. Well, I, know, I know Japanese 
the uh they have japanese productions of like live action versions and apparently they're like pretty decent and stuff i heard the but, attack uh, on titan wasn't too bad yeah but again you know i i never really watched them yeah but from what i've heard they're they're fine but like death note garbage mm. um full Metal alchemist garbage oh, i didn't know there was a full Metal alchemist yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah like, there's a lot of them actually oh, you'd be surprised Eesh. yeah and they're all horrible um cowboy bebop now garbage <laughs> <laughs> and it, it sucks because like now John Cho, piece. John Cho is a great actor, and from what I saw of him in the show, like it was he did still, good. Yeah, he he did well for sure. Yeah, little and, clips I saw of him and um, even the guy who played Rex, even though like Rex's writing was kind of shitty too. That was yeah, that he was the main complaint job, was yeah. the writing. Yeah, the writing and the directing. That's why I'm worried about One Piece. No, 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 no. I I'm One Piece. I, I'm holding a little more hope for. I mean, I was holding hope for Cowboy Bebop too, but yeah. I. I'm probably going to say the same thing you were about to say, Dan, but I'm also holding high hopes for that because yeah. uh, Oda is very in the He's like, involved, process yeah. of making the show. Like He had the, the green light for the actors. Like yeah. he, he saw the actors and I guess their you know auditions and said, yeah, these are the people I want. Yeah. So I, I think with him being more involved, uh, I'm hoping it'll be better than what we... You know, Cowboy Bebop yeah, is. I think so. He fed the, the actual actor in a real gum gum fruit. Maybe. It's not CGI. That's, That's possible. That's going to be his real body stretching. Yeah. <laughs> it hurts. O Oda low-key found the, the gum gum fruit. Just insane. And he was waiting for that live action film. It's like, oh, it was based on things I actually had. <laughs> yeah, I, I took a bite of it and realized I could stretch now. <laughs> He's like, I have One Piece. Now, I got a question, Dan. So, like, because of One Piece, um, can, like, can multiple people have the same power if they all take, like, a little bite of that fruit? Because they don't have to eat the whole fruit, right? Oh, I don't know. Oh. I mean... I think the way it works is only one person can have the power at a time. Oh, okay. But I don't know if that's related to the fruit or what. You know, yeah, I I have no clue about like piecing it up or anything. But okay, because I like I know that they said like all you have to do is take like one bite of it and you get the power. So I was wondering if like if yeah, but I think it. the fruit goes away after that because I know like when you know a character dies, their fruit returns. Yeah, yeah. So I guess it just disappears. Okay. Yeah, I I would I would guess. I'm sure there's a right answer, but since I don't know as much as you guys, because you've... No, commit. You've, yeah, I want to. <laughs> commit I to will. an answer. I know. I will. I will Say commit it. to One Piece, but I have a theory. No theories. At least a, Only answer. Yeah, <laughs> fine. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I can't think of an answer off the top of my head. Um, what if somebody took... Like, what if different people took a bite of one fruit and they all got the power... That's what he was saying. But it was yeah. weaker... Because, oh, that'd be a ripoff. I'd kill the rest of them. <laughs> so I get the full well, fruit. But I'm just, I'm just saying that could be one of the downsides of like, oh, if three people took a bite of the fruit, then oh, you all have the power, but it's not as strong as if one person ate it. I was about to ask a question, and then I realized it was already answered, and it would have been a spoiler. <laughs> oh yeah, no, definitely not. No, I'd, I'd, I'd lean over to you, Dan, and be like, "Yo, can I have one piece of that fruit?" Oh no. Nah. Uh, nah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna end the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, listen, you can't be the only one that does puns, all right? I had to do something. It was yeah. pretty bad, I'll admit, but it's okay. No, they're supposed to be. <laughs> that's the um, best part. Yeah, I, that's all the news I got, so I don't know if you have anything else on your only, list. Yeah, only two more things. I was going to mention the Cowboy Bebop cancellation. Okay. Um, um, uh, 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 okay, this one was a pretty interesting one. Um, there's this company called uh, Suburaya Productions and uh, Toei Animation. They're making a, it's like a collaboration. They're making, um, what is it called? Kaiju Decode First Contact. It's, um, it's a CG anime. Uh, the animation looks pretty good though. Okay. Um, but it's going to be for Oculus Quest. Well, oh. they're doing, they're doing two projects. One is, I think just, uh, normal. It's two, it's, they're both called Kaiju Decode, but one has like a, a colon and one says First Contact. But yeah, the First Contact one is, uh. They released a VR anime short for the Oculus Quest. Aww. And that's sick. That opens up just a world of, like, VR anime. Which, oh, it's so, like you have to put your VR headset on? Right, for the Oculus Quest. <sighs> oh, I'm too poor God. for that. No, the Oculus Quest isn't bad. You you bought an Xbox. You, you could buy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you have it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure an Oculus Quest 2 is only... Was it around 300. Five? It's is too it much. 100? 300. Yeah? Yeah, Oculus Quest. Too yeah. much money. You bought my, an Xbox. My Valve index was <laughs> a Prove thousand. It. Come on. Uh, wow, <laughs> Mr. Bougie over here. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, the <laughs> the quest is it's two ninety nine. Uh they may I think they have one for three ninety nine with additional storage. But yeah, two ninety nine gets you in. 
Um, I like how you're on an anime website and there's a Dewalt um, drill like right above it. Well, <laughs> that anime fans notoriously big carpenters. Oh wow! No, they, they're, they're, they're trying to sell you that drill because you know you're going to build shelves for your anime figures. Oh, true. Oh, they, they know it. They know I see it. cross marketing. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then oh, there's an ad for a figure. No. Oh, and a pen. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I mean, I think that just opens up a cool possibility of, like, more VR anime. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, you get, like, free roam and, like, you have to stare at a certain spot to see the main story, but you're, you're just looking at the giant mountain to the side of you. Meanwhile, like, the whole story's happening <laughs> behind you. You're like, wow, I don't get any of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know, just, just gonna grab you're, me. Just look, you're just looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> you, you just hear behind you, like, my long lost brother. I have finally come to fight you. And you're just Shut like, Shut up, I'm looking at the birds. <laughs> yeah, look, look at that. I gotta recalibrate. <laughs> um,. But yeah, I mean, for something like uh, the new Dragon Ball Super movie that's going to come out, which I'm, I'm not a fan of the animation, yeah. but it's more like CG style. That would be cool for like VR. I would be cool with that at, at that point. You know what I mean? I've been getting into like CGI anime lately, like roughly, hmm. but go uh, on. What? I'm, I'm interested because I... I I'm not a big fan of CG. I'm always a I'm a CG and, skeptic for the well, most like, part. Yeah. Have you ever so, seen, it's been you, getting better. Have you ever seen like Kang and Ashura? No. No. I have to show you like a clip from it. Okay. It's very rough, but I I really enjoy it because I got used to it. It's actually it's kind of like the same. Um, do you remember that? Oh, what was the name of the anime that I showed you? The one with the old guy who can like the, if you kill yourself you come back. Do you remember that? What? Remember that fight scene I showed you with the old dude and he would like he shot himself in the head and then he came back. Oh, no, God. I feel like I remember this, but I yeah, uh, it, it's been a while. I think right. It's like two months. <laughs> that's that's a while. It's a while. Um, that's a while now for us. <laughs> but yeah, it was like kind of like that type of animation. Okay. And like I'm getting used to that, and like I'm starting to like it a little bit more because I feel like there's like there's more you can do with it. Okay. Hmm. I mean they 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 have been getting better with CG animation too, especially when they start blending the the two D in better. Yeah. yeah. Like uh, well, Attack on Titan. They've been getting better with it as well. Oh yeah, all the, all the Titans in season four are CG. Yeah, are they? yeah, all the time, all that. of them. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they they switch studios. Oh, they do good then. Yeah, because uh, Mappa does it now, right? I yeah. The so, first... so once Mappa took over, they were like, all Titans are going to be CG. I guess it's just the art direction they decide to go. But yeah, it took me until season two to get like used to the art style for uh, my hero. Or my hero, Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. They do like the heavy outlines. Yeah, and Attack whatnot. on Titan. Yeah. Like it was very roughly drawn. That like it took me a little while to get used to it until like season two, and I was like, all right, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. My hero, I feel like has gotten very, very good with the animation. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Like, better. Like it's definitely been improved from but, like um, the first episode. Definitely had more production value as they yeah. went on because of the success. But Bro, uh, I can't wait to see how much money they put into the next season. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Especially like once it gets like further on to like where we are in the manga. Those fight scenes better be like pristine. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, yeah. Studio of Bones has always been pretty good throughout the yeah. whole. I think they've been pretty consistent throughout the whole My Hero series. I mean, you had the Nomu fight in the first season with All Might. Then you had the sports festival when uh, you know Midoriya and Todoroki like went all out at each other and almost blew up the whole stadium. If it wasn't for uh, Midnight and um, the guy with the concrete powers, yes. Um, and then, you know, even the fight with Overhaul, I mean, they've, they've been killing it, I feel like, the whole series. But yeah, I I can't wait to see this uh, next arc animated because, oh my god, it's going to be so good. And it's funny because you guys know more than I do, but I've read enough where I'm like, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be so wild. Yeah. No, I can't, I, I can't, I can't even imagine. I, I, I'm wondering how much they're going to adapt for the next season, but uh, I, I'm excited. Um, yeah, the only other thing I had to touch on was just um, Japan's video game rankings. Um, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, they've been in the number one spot for the past like three weeks, mm -hmm. which is cool. Um, Fair enough. And Animal Crossing is number four still, which is awesome because it was released in 2020. So they're still kicking it. They just did that huge update. but um, Oh, that's right. It was in October or something, right? Yeah. The fall update. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, cool. What was number two and number three? Number two was Mario Party uh, Superstars. Really? Okay. Um, number three, this is Japan's list, so this was just, I think this was a Japanese-only game. Okay. It was Yawaraka Atama Juku Ishoni Atama no Stretch. Oh, that's my favorite game. You did mention that, yeah. You know, I gotta, you know, I gotta give you credit, Dan. You're, I feel like your pronunciation of Japanese isn't... It's pretty good. <laughs> Meanwhile, we found out he I, completely butchered it. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure, sure I did. I'm I don't sure know. I did. It, it's... I mean, to it me, sounds it right sounded to me. pretty good, yeah. <laughs> but to a Japanese person, they're like, 
the fuck I'm just saying? I'm hearing him read that Stupid title, gadget. and I feel like I would have had to start over three or four times. You just read it all, like, <laughs> through and through. I'm like, what? Go- throw it into Google, Google Translate, and have it, tell, like, have it speak for you. It's my third language. <laughs> my second is sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see myself out. <laughs> Here's the door. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. I live um, here. I live here. <laughs> not anymore. Yeah, not anymore. Chad <laughs> um, kicks you out for your dad jokes. He's like, this is the last straight and get out. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, you had one more. And you used it already. She has like a check, like a he, list. You crossed the, the line. <laughs> you had one it. more for the year. It's the bouncer at the door. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door like, well, here you go, Dan. Come on. Come outside. <laughs> like, please. I live here. No. <laughs> does like the cartoon kicks you out. Yep. Oh, man. All righty. So now with all that out of the way, we are going to recap the anime that we've watched in 2021. Yes. And some of it we've all watched, you know, or, you know, some of the anime we've definitely all seen. And some of I don't think I've seen or you've seen, you know, we kind of have a couple odd ones, I think. So, yeah, Um, I feel like we should get some of the major ones out of the way first. And that, of course, I think would be Attack on Titan. Yep. In the beginning of the year, it was like, First or second week of January, it started. Yep. And, oh boy. Well, I mean, what, what can we say about Attack on Titan at this point? I, we've probably talked about it you know, every attack. other episode. And, the, oh my god, MAPPA, like we just mentioned before, killing it with the animation. The, the story yeah. starting to wrap up. I mean, uh, you already know how it ends. I don't, but... Speaking of uh, MAPPA, Jujutsu Kaisen. Mm, you, amazing. So... Interest- it's, well, it started... Yeah, I was yeah, going to say, it started last year. Which the I th- end, of, like, October. Yeah, it started October and went into, like, March or something, I think. Uh, Did it? Yeah. Oh. I thought it came out this year. Well, no, because there was uh, there was 24 or 25 episodes. Yeah. So, so yeah, it would make sense if it, it reached Yeah, it wrapped far. up in, like, I think March. Yeah. So... Yeah, I was thinking if I should count that in or not, but I was like, I you know, did anyway, because like... Well, you know why? Because I watched the whole... I binged it this year. Like, I didn't watch it from episode oh, I mean, one weekly. Yeah, so, okay. I mean, I'm putting all the ones that I watched this year that came out in like 1900s, like 1996. 1900. Yeah. I, <laughs> 1904. That's a great way. I, I was, 98, I was, the 1900s. <laughs> <laughs> I was prioritizing the anime that came out this year, and I was like, do I put Jujutsu Kaisen? And I'm like, you know what? It, it popped off this year, so I feel like it's fair enough. We can. We oh, yeah, that. for sure. So, yeah, because it, it wrapped up in March, so like it counts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Jujutsu Kaisen, again, what else can I say? Show is awesome. Just about every episode is a banger. There's always action going on. They're fighting, doing their, um, what, what do they call it? The... Uh, like their special move where they uh, go into like their own zone. Oh. Where they, I forgot the. Uh, I oh don't my remember. God, I know. I'm so mad. They do shadow puppets. They do, yeah. A lot of shadow puppet scenes, yeah. surprisingly, yeah. Um, I just find it funny that the guy's power is literally shadow, shadow like shadow puppets. Oh. Uh, Megumi. Like, oh, kind of. Like, like his power is literally shadow puppets. I guess, yeah. <laughs> it's one way to. One way to look at it is it not like he makes the he makes this like symbol of what he wants to like bring out kind of and then it comes out from the shadows he's a shadow puppet master oh shit you're totally right <laughs> yeah. I, actually, I actually didn't think of that yeah <laughs> holy crap yeah. <laughs> yep he's a shadow puppet master I'm, yep. I'm like looking at the 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 you know when he summons the dog and it's really like the the ears is his thumb and like the mouth oh my god like stop they, you're kidding me i hate this why actually, am i only realizing this now they chopped a lot of the scene away he, you missed him going oh <laughs> he'd be, he'd be like, <laughs> yeah, he did the fucking bird thing just just give me a minute <laughs> well i gotta warm up I stretch the fingers <laughs> yo listen i know Jazz you, hands. i know you can move at like the speed of sound but can you give me like two seconds just to make this hand gesture so i can win i gotta make this really accurate bird and it won't work if i'm running <laughs> <laughs> oh but yeah, God. great anime. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Shut no, up. <laughs> another really good anime that came out um started last year but finished this year. So yeah. we're putting it on the fucking list. Well, yeah, speaking it's of on that, here. by the way, uh, so you know how you said like I just ruined it for you because it's Shadow Puppets? Mm-hmm. There are people that had Demon Slayer ruined for them because they realized that the fire and the water were just symbolic. Yeah. <laughs> there are people that actually thought they were like having fire and water coming out of their swords. It's like, no, it's just symbolic. Yeah, no. And people were like, it ruined the the anime for me. I can't watch it anymore. It's like that that ruined the anime. No, for when me. I, uh, what are you talking about? When I when I first saw it, and then I realized I was like, oh, bummer. But I yeah. get it. Yeah. I I mean, listen, I'd be terrified if I saw a kid just whip out a sword and flames start coming out of their sword as he started dancing and breathing fire. Uh, yeah, literally out of the mouth. <laughs> like, oh fuck. <laughs> oh shit! I can't fuck with you now. Is he okay? <laughs> you good, buddy? 
I mean, that's like Zoro when he does the Onigiri slap. Oh, and right? he has like he, seven arms. Yeah, yeah and you it, know what I mean. It's like, oh, it, it just it kind of just sim. It just shows like how strong the move is, but that actually no, he really happen. just punches like six other arms out of his body. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, let's see what else do I have on my list. I got um. Dr. Stone, The Stone Wars, Ooh, or Season yes. 2. Oh, that was so, sick. Yeah, dude. Uh, I really love Dr. Stone. And I think because uh, science was one of my favorite subjects in school. Me and too. I, yeah. I always love finding out how things Fucking work. nerds. <laughs> That's why we're here. Excuse me? <laughs> do you know who I am? Um, Brian? How many guesses do we have? Why don't you go show me huh. the elemental of water, nerd? H2O. You would know that. So dumb. What the? Fuck? <laughs> you know, um, is Doctor Strange going to like a pirate theme now? I saw like a picture of Doctor Strange wearing like a pirate hat. Yeah, he's cosplaying. On. Wait, what are you talking about? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, but he's cosplaying. Well, no. it was like it was like saying like no, no, no. New... But what do you say? Doc, uh, or Doctor Strange. Dr. Strange. He yeah. said, this motherfucker said Doctor Strange, and I'm like, I'm gonna let him. Re- Bring it I'm up, gonna Martin. let him fix himself. And he said it again. I'm yeah. like, okay, Doctor you know Stone. What? Isn't he like? Is it like going to like a pirate phase now? Yeah, the uh, the the. They next- went from like the Stone Age to like. Yeah, that's like the next arc that I think is gonna happen is the whole like pirate ship mm-hmm. like arc or whatever. I wonder if they're gonna talk um, about piece. scurvy. Um, but yeah, I I love watching Doctor Stone just again because I. I they do such a good job at explaining how all of the, you know, reactions like, oh, we can make this, but now that we have this, we can also make this and it just shows all the upgrades and I don't, it just, I'm like, wow, I'm really invested in this show because I am learning and it's funny as fuck. I was learning up until a certain point and then I was like, <laughs> oh, I can't. Did he just make a compass out of dirt and fire? <laughs> D- Dan, Basically. Dan got to a... Uh, Coal and flint, or flint and steel, and I was like, okay, that's it. I don't no, know anything I, else after this. I fr- there, there was a certain point where he just like, like I was following along, and I was like, I can take this with me out into the wild. <laughs> if for some reason I am stranded, and then it got to a certain point where I was like, it's too much. I throw this rock at this rock, and now I have internet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> was it when he was explaining like how to make a battery? You're like, okay, I, I no, no, I'm never gonna make a battery. <laughs> Um, no, the battery, Brian, the battery is fine. I know you can make a battery with a watermelon. I think it was when it got to the cell phone where I was like, nah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> we, need, we need all these components. I was like, oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to just try and hunt. I was like, and shit. I'm, not, okay. I'm not even sure I can do the vacuum tube. <laughs> oh, yeah. The old man does the, the, yeah. the, gla- the glass shaping. Yeah, mine would yeah, look no. like shit. It would look like shit. <laughs> for sure. Um, then just like, I would just die. <laughs> no, I, I guess I'll die. Yeah, no cell phone for me. Yeah. But, no. um. One thing about Dr. Stone, because I was looking, you know, I was going through my list and I was looking up all the studios. Um, mm-hmm. The studio was interesting because it's like the studio called 8Pan, which is under TMS. Uh, so 8Pan is a subsidiary of uh, TMS. And it sounds like an STD. <laughs> it is also. Yeah, is I'm getting re- to that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm like, um, is it really? <laughs> let me explain. <laughs> but uh, TMS basically just seems like a parent company with a bunch of subsidiaries under them. But Sega owns them. So I was just like, oh, this is an interesting little ladder. Because uh, I saw them for this. And, um, okay, so Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro, which I watch as well. Uh, they're under, they're from Telecom Animation Film, which is under TMS, which is owned by Sega. Hell, this, this just sounds like a, a pyramid circle. scheme. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, a you know pyramid it scheme. Just yeah. going around Sega, in Sega's circles. at the top, and it just starts going down from there. They're Sega's all writing like, off taxes under each other's names. <laughs> Sega's just like, all right, so you get 10 people to give you $100. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally, yeah. Oh, yeah, I explained that in like an episode or two. Yeah. Uh, yep. I'm not even going to get into it again. <laughs> You'll but, love um, it. You, you mentioned Miss Nagatoro. Yes. And that one I watched. I did watch that, I watched yeah. that about uh, a month ago. Yeah, was, that was, okay. that was, it was funny. I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's funny watching someone get bullied laugh. besides you, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, ah, it's not me. You time. like it, yeah. <laughs> um, but no, uh, all jokes aside, the the show is it, it is pretty funny, and I'm I'm ahead of the show. I'm, I'm uh, oh yeah, I've been reading the manga. Yeah, yeah I'm all caught up on the and, manga. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But there's more it, to the story. Yes. No, no. Oh, wow. Not. I'm not gonna lie. The the show go starts off with Nagatoro being like coming off as this ridiculous bully, like oh, look at crying. They do make it. And they blah, make blah, it. Blah. Um, yeah. I mean, oh, man. I, um, yeah. I no, loved. She... No, I loved it because I knew, like, I knew where their story was. I, I talked about this before on the podcast, but like, I knew where the story was gonna go. I was like, you know, they're gonna eventually be cute together and all that. So I was just watching, and I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll get through this part. 
and um all all the incels online were like that's mean that's really mean <laughs> <laughs> that's how a good incel you, voice how you know? can you do that but but then if there's like an anime like a tsundere anime dude like mistreating a girl and they're just like ah, they're just like oh this is what i like to see oh uh, uh redo of a healer I didn't watch that because it seemed like trash. <laughs> you, you know, I don't like it because it seemed like You know the one I'm talking garbage. about, right? Yes. Yeah. Where it has like, you know, the questionable scene in like the first or second episode. Yeah, I, I've only, I haven't I actually watched it. I, I heard about it. I yeah, heard about okay. that. And yeah, I was yeah. just like, not for me. I was about to say, I'm like, Dan's going to be like, yeah, no, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to watch that. Thank All you. Good. All good. Um, but yeah, no, Miss Nagatoro goes from like... I mean, obviously, they're still teasing and stuff throughout the the manga, but yeah, it, it gets more. Um, how do I say, like, more wholehearted because you kind of see the growth. More of, like normal, playful. Well, yeah, but you see, yeah. you see the growth of Nagatoro and um, <laughs> whatever Senpai. his name is. I I forgot what his name <laughs> Senpai. is. Senpai. I um, forgot his name too. They, they actually have Gross. his name listed Senpai. as Senpai on yeah. some websites. That's so like no one even knows his actual. I name. literally I, I don't um, know. He has to have a name. Um, I'm sure he does. Yeah, I'm sure he does too. I just couldn't remember it because it's just always senpai yeah um but you know it, it's kind of like you see the growth of bouncing off of each other yeah you know because he's like he's kind of like i gotta be more like manly and stand <laughs> up to her and then she's like you know maybe i shouldn't bully people and like baba and all that stuff her like, defense name is, uh, yeah, yeah right yeah exactly mm -hmm. his name is um naoto that sounds about right yeah it's a uh, naoto hachiyoji Sure, we'll worry about uh, senpai. senpai. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> senpai. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll go with senpai. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah really, really like that. I can't wait to see more um, of the manga adapted. Into, yeah, you know, um, pro I would assume that they're going to come out with a season. Well, they already announced that there's going to be a season two. I was going to say they have I a lot of source material. Don't so. know when though. I don't know if they announce a date, but I would say yeah, I would, I don't, I don't I would say late next year or yeah. early twenty. 23 yeah probably most likely um what about you jimmy you have any uh interesting ones on your list uh i mean i saw uh i rewatched cowboy bebop again this year because i watched it when i was a kid but i didn't remember any of it okay but nice. I, I watched that um so I, I, I am gonna watch it soon you should it's really good <laughs> yeah is you it, would it, like it is it as oh, good sure, as you yeah. remember oh yeah it was so good did How you good? watch samurai shampoo yet yeah okay yeah, I, watched it. I watched um i think i watched it after you told me to watch it okay i did that uh trigun Ooh, Trigon, I still have to watch as well. Th Trigon's those really are good. big Love glaring holes in my uh, my weep guard. Yeah, he, he it's a good one just because like it's not like your usual anime. It's not like the guy's not really like he he is a badass, but like they make him out to be like this super deranged criminal, and it's not like that at all. Okay, it just so happens that when he's in a certain town, the town gets destroyed. <laughs> not his fault. <laughs> I have that problem too. Yeah, the, the town they, is called my toilet when I have diarrhea. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, because the he—they call him. Um, <laughs> they call him Vash the Stampede, the human. Um, I think it's like the human hurricane or the something like that. Something, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't use on me. I just, I just know Vash the Stampede. Yeah, me too. I know, I know yeah. that nickname. I don't. Know oh, the human typhoon. They call him the oh, human okay. typhoon. Yeah, because everywhere he goes, gets ruined. <laughs> It's just, it's just like a just curse. clumsy. Yeah. yeah, no, he literally is. He's literally just clumsy. <laughs> Amazing, I love it. Yeah, but it was like it was stuff like that that I mostly watched. Uh, Helsing um, Ultimate, I watched, which is really good. I was gonna say, how is Helsing? I, oh, I, I love. I it. see. I read it. I watched it. Very good. If you want, if you don't want to watch it and you just want to read it, the manga is exactly. There's a lot of Nazi paraphernalia, uh, paraphernalia though. Okay. Cause it's pretty much about like an old vampire who fought the Nazis back in World War II. I feel like they do that oh, a lot. Okay. Like vampires and Nazis. I don't know what. Like, yeah, I don't that know. That era, at yeah. least. Well, maybe it's just for Van Helsing. Maybe that is that when it's supposed to take place. Like usually. Um. No. It. It's because I could have swear there was like a lot, like a uh, a movie, of like Van Helsing, and it was like the same kind of era. No, I, there was a movie Van Helsing, but that was. Are you talking about the one with Hugh Jackman? Oh yes, no, maybe that was, that was, that was like I think that was like the eighteen hundreds. Yeah, took no, that was in. earlier. Yeah, yeah, but they usually do do like vampires and like werewolves with like Nazis for some reason. Don't know yeah. why. I, I natural really, enemies. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think the Nazis are natural enemies for most. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it makes sense because werewolves in London and then Nazis in Germany, and you know the allies I get and access yeah. You know what I, I mean? Get so, it. Yeah, perfect. little history Fun. lesson for everyone out there. <laughs> Simple, yeah. uh, simplified. <laughs> yeah, like, it was like that where like the guy, like he's coming back, like one of the generals were coming back, and Alucard is trying to like take him out for good now. 
It's okay. really good. Yeah. You would you would like it, I feel like. Okay. How long is the manga? Do you know how many volumes or how many chapters? Um about? I do not know how many chapters. I bought the really big um the big red books, like the <laughs> special edition books, the deluxe edition books. How many uh episodes or seasons? That's probably about like I think it's like two seasons, like twenty four episodes each. Two or three seasons. I so think. there's got there's got to be a few volumes then. Yeah. Okay. Like it's enough for like you know the deluxe edition books. Yeah. yeah like the like they have. Yeah. For Death it, Note they have Desert three for Helsing. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So they they probably they probably crammed in like. They uh, usually do I, like I, I think like ten books per book or something like that. Mm. I think they try cramming oh, in like. Yeah, like ten. I think they tried cramming in like five to ten mangas per book. I I would say I would say closer to. Three to five. You think so? Because I know Naruto has three, like three. Uh, they have like the thick uh, volumes. Oh yeah, so but these, like one, two, these are like three, four, five, six. Yeah, but these are like six hundred, seven hundred oh, pages. Yeah. Really? Those okay. are like the, I, okay. they're like this big, but like that thick. Okay, I, you then, can't see my hand movements, then. but they're big. <laughs> For the listeners, very big. <laughs> um, let's see what else do I have on my list. I got Jimmy. What else you got? Uh, erased. Oh, you watched Erased this year? Yeah. Nice. It was very good. Yeah. I enjoyed it thoroughly. Yeah, I, I like that one. Huge twist at the end. Not really. I kind of saw it coming, like, halfway through the uh, the anime. I kind of was like, this is the bad guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, at first I was like, who's the bad guy? And then after, like, a couple episodes in, I was like, that's the bad yeah, guy. <laughs> after having, like, a scene with that character, you're like, no. <laughs> there, there's something about you. You're, you're too nice. A little sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But I saw that. Um, I saw... I, I didn't finish it, but... um. The one that you showed us. Um, Konosuba? Konosuba, yeah. Okay. I'm up to, like, I'm in the middle of season two right now. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm close season to Season two is funny, yeah. yeah. Oh, it's yeah. all funny. Yeah. It, yeah, it's all good. Season two, I felt like, was a lot better than season one, though, so far. Yeah, definitely. I, I think, like, Because now they have, like, the party least... set up. Yeah. Yeah, because, like, in the season one, you're getting the party set up. Now the party's all, like, set up and you yeah. got, like, a story They got the party now. started. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> I got, you, you watched a good amount of anime this year. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, nice, man. <laughs> you said know. that all depressed, like, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess I, I don't got nothing else going on. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> well, um, another one that we all probably watched, Demon Slayer Season 2. Yeah. We started it, at least. Season 2, yeah. I, yeah. I, I forget I that. Watched one episode. I, I, was th- I was thinking about putting it on, but I'm like, only one episode's out, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's well, Season 3. Season 3, only one episode. No, out. Season 2. No, season the train two. is only, the train it, is the like. The train is its own arc. It's like one and a half. But What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm saying we're, <laughs> we're not kidding. Yeah, it's no, like, literally, this, this is season two. Yeah, but this not- is officially season two now. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> you don't agree with those numbers, <laughs> Jimmy? Is so he's he's got his hands on his head like the what OCD is, going is throbbing. On? So you're telling me if I make a show and I call it season one and then I make a movie, yeah, it's just nothing. Uh-huh. It's nothing. It means nothing. Son of a bitch. <laughs> No, I'm no, I'm I'm going on Crunchyroll right this now. This is absolute blasphemy. Oh yeah, go on Crunchyroll. Uh, you'll I'm see. Do, I'm do, I'm oh, I'm going on Hopefully it. <laughs> um, in the meantime, uh, what else? I put... no, there's gonna be silence while I look this up. <laughs> we did all I, we, we did all um, watch Star Wars Visions. We reviewed that. Yeah. I was just about to uh, say yeah. that. I was just about to do, say that. No, oh, no, he's faster <laughs> than me. Um, yeah, we obviously no, have it's season two. Yeah, it's in season two. And and what does it say for the entertainment district? For the what? Entertainment District arc. Season, there's two season twos. Yeah. Because the train arc is no, part that's of se- bullshit. <laughs> yeah. This it, 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 if they could write one and a half, they would have. They could just wrote two, and then they could just made three. It might be formatting. I don't know. I know, like <laughs> Apple Podcasts, you can't do a one and a half. Because I, I remember for one of the episodes, I was gonna write like two and a half, and it was like, not nah, fam. And I was like, uh, this is unacceptable. All right, cool. Yeah. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm looking up on Netflix now. This is unacceptable. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Jimmy looks that up. Um, Star Wars Visions. We have we did a whole episode on it. Yep. So we don't have to go into catching on Spotify and wherever you listen to podcasts or YouTube. It's on YouTube also. Yeah. Wherever, wherever Dan posts it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do they not yeah. have season two on Netflix yet? Oh, uh, maybe not. I was gonna say. I, yeah, it could I be would, licensing it's... deals. Yeah. Oh. Um, maybe once it finishes. Hulu? Yeah. Star Wars Visions. Amazing. Incredible. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was cool. Go go watch go watch it and then watch our podcast episode. Yes. Oh, also, talking about it. <laughs> yes, indeed. I watched Kuroko's new bas- uh, no basketball this year too. Mm. I forgot about that. Kuroko's basketball. Yeah, I I tried to get into it. Um, you didn't like it? Couldn't. Nah, it, it just didn't grab me. It wasn't bad or anything. Like it, it was good. I just didn't have the uh, the drive to keep watching. Um, <laughs> <I'm, what? laughs> as you said, I'm just picturing the rock. <laughs> Why the rock the rock rap song? 
Oh yeah, it's about drive. It's about power. Oh yeah. my, we God. get hungry, we devour. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Hell yeah, man. The rock. You know the rock does everything. Oh yeah, bro. I don't know. He the rocks. I, I don't... Yeah. Why, why am I? Why are we here just to suffer? My Hero Academia season five, huh? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, no, but uh, yeah. Did you watch it? Yeah. Okay, sick. Yeah. No, I, yeah, no, I, I, I watched, watched it. it. Yeah. No, I very good. What? I didn't watch it. You didn't really? No. Did you not really? No, I didn't watch it. Well, you read it. Yeah, I read it. Okay, yeah. Well, I didn't watch but, it. But he didn't Whatever. watch it, though. That's yeah. the big deal. Not, it's not valid. <laughs> but what you did watch is the movie. Did I? I did. You didn't. <laughs> and Brian didn't. Okay, all right. I'll take the L there. You don't know I'll, nothing I'll, about I'll... Rody. I know. Best boy. I'm so upset. You... Okay, here, let me explain. You don't know I'm... nothing about his tweet tweet. Yeah. I am one of those guys where I really hate going to the movies by myself. Oh yeah, and when, I mean, yeah. When, sometimes, man. Sometimes you gotta take yourself on a date. And I could well, <laughs> bring the body. No, it's, it's just I'm just <laughs> I, bring the diva figure. <laughs> can I get <laughs> no, 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 Can no, I get no, two seats, please? No, 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 no. I was gonna say that I walk up to the the podium. I'm like, uh, they're like one ticket. I'm like, excuse me, it's two tickets. All right, <laughs> don't you dare ignore her. <laughs> Speak up next time, honey. Oh, yeah, Stairs in plastic. <laughs> That's okay. I'll handle this. I just pull it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like pull over scrapes on the floor <laughs> can, can i get three seats why well the guy has to push my six foot diva statue <laughs> yeah the <laughs> handler so, <laughs> walk out the wheelie with the uh the trolley <laughs> just jacked forearms <laughs> her favorite candy is skittles all right <laughs> <laughs> just shove oh, it man. he's pushing it into her mouth where <laughs> oh, it just breaks God. and falls to the floor oh my <laughs> no diva <laughs> not again it's a disturbing scene <laughs> Anyway, yeah, my hero. Why'd, you, why'd you get so dark with that? God damn. My hero was great. It was. Oh, oh, wait, wait. You know why I didn't go see the movie? Because I still have to go fucking rescue her from Mount Everest. Oh, that was. Still, she's fucking freezing up there, bro. I, that I, was the I, extraction I hate, mission. I couldn't go without her. I hate her. to break it. Yeah. yeah. She's dead. Was she ever alive? Oh, shit. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, na, 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 na. <laughs> what else we got? Um, but no, uh, my hero. Season five. Oh yeah, no, it's been it's been phenomenal. Um, I like that they're, you know, setting up for the next part, which is going to be oh, fantastic for anyone who read the manga. Yeah, it's it's going to be great. It's for... mm -hmm. wait, no, I'm not going to say it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, we can't. Well, it, we gotta... it wasn't going to be a spoiler. I was just going to say like mm -hmm. they they released like the um they like they finally brought into light who. Oh, the traitor. Yeah. It's not going to ruin it. Like, I'm not going to say who it was, but and they he, finally like brought to oh, light because, who it was. Yeah, they've been wondering, like, how do they know stuff? And Yeah, yeah and they, they did reveal. Um, well, they did a little fake out, then a reveal. Yeah. Yeah, so that's going to be cool. Um, yeah, because I was like, that's not really a spoiler. Okay. Because you're not saying who not it quite. was. Yeah. Because they were already, they already knew They're there was already a like, traitor wait a in second. There. Yeah. Now, let me ask, because I remember you texted us, and you were like, oh, I found out who the traitor is. And I don't know why, but I it, it was just completely out of nowhere. And then you texted later that night, like, oh, wait, oh, no, the next week, because they released the, the next, next week, chapter. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wait, they bamboozled us. Yeah. So still what? not great. No? Still really? not yeah, great, still really. Was, better. What, was it, exp it, it was better. It's better. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, it's okay. better for sure. It's it was like, better than the original one. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. All right. Um, what's up? Don't, uh, you better not okay. send anything. <laughs> I just didn't know that, so tell me later. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Uh oh, now she's gonna um, find out. <laughs> yep. Now um, I gotta tell Jen. Now I got. <laughs> imagine, if, imagine if they're, they're like, "Oh, the traitor's all might." You know what? I'm just gonna spoil it. It's Deku. Oh shit. Uh, that would be kind of cool, honestly. No, nah, that'd be no. terrible. That, yeah, right. Could you imagine him? So fucking dumb. <laughs> he just built up Deku for five or six. He seasons beat the shit out of all his friends for no reason. Yeah. Oh <laughs> like all God. the villains were actually his friends. He's like, damn near killing them. <laughs> uh, speaking of the villains, though, this season, season five awesome oh yeah they, with the, dude, they with the my villain academia section yeah they really highlight the villains awesome. this season and Doc, i really i really love i really love when they kind of give uh like they make you feel for the villains and i'm like don't do yeah, that yeah, don't do that bro fuck come on no it's it's good writing dude, when uh well, yeah but yeah you exactly sympathize though. with them yeah, yeah. You, you start to like you start to root for them and you're like no don't do that though like i right. really you get i conflicted. really yeah. felt for my boy twice like oh, i yeah. really like when he um well, see, it, it happened already in season five, so this isn't a spoiler. But if you haven't watched season yeah, five, his well, backstory. Too bad. But um, when they, the the two agents were like holding him back, and then they like broke his arms, and he's like, "Oh, I'm me." And yeah. I was like, "Oh, let's go!" This yeah. is so fucking awesome. Very cool it just, yeah, exactly. So good. I'd, all the villains definitely. Um, 
either got like a power boost or you found out more about their backstory and you're like wow okay so this is this is why you're a villain i get it now <laughs> yeah oh that's the thing yeah they but it was still fucked up they like, fleshed um, out all their stories pretty well i don't i don't remember there being one that was like very weak Nah, maybe, maybe may, it was a little weak yeah but i I still like her as a character. Yeah, I mean, you know, her backstory like, was just like, oh, she was always crazy. That was really it. She was the weird kind kid. Of, but it was also like, oh, her quirk was like, what else are you going to do but be a villain? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, it's like, her parents are like, damn, you just drink blood and transform into shit? Well, I do hate the... All right. I do hate that, like, that new villain. Because I think you said it one time, he looks like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Oh, oh the, the leader yeah. of the... Um, the rebel army. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's a buff Doofenshmirtz. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I love his quirk is that he just takes all the stress he has and it uses it as his power. And I'm like, bro, we'd all be, like, jacked. And I was going to say, because, life. like, whenever I internalize stress, it only has negative consequences. But just, for him... I just cry. <laughs> <laughs> I just go in the shower and turn on the hottest setting and lay down on the floor and cry. Oh just to feel God. something, yeah. <laughs> just to feel oh, I'm sorry. something. The burn hurts so good. <laughs> getting, a little, getting a little too real here. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dude, season five, awesome. My Hero in general, go watch it. I mean, why aren't you? Yeah, it, it slaps. Uh, what else you got? Um, I, got I got a whole long list. Um, Mind if I chime in with one? Yeah. Uh, Miss How much people ever heard of? Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> uh, Miss Koibashi's Dragon Maid. Oh, yeah. Which I've, watch I've, it yet, I've but... mentioned plenty of times before, but... You watch fucking... that? Yeah. Oh, wow. I do watch <laughs> that. I didn't know that. <laughs> Fantastic anime. Very, really funny. A lot of action in this second season, uh, which I really liked. I was really surprised. It, saw... lo it looks really good, I always too. find it funny that there's action in that show. Yeah, <laughs> I saw like, a couple scenes, and like, they were pretty cool. Yeah. Well, because... Um, in the first season, have you watched the first season? No. Really? Okay. Um, hmm. All right. So what I'll say without spoiling it for you. They're dragons. Is that, yeah. Wow. I, wow thanks, Jimmy. Dude, Jimmy. <laughs> Way to spoil it. Could, <laughs> um, they, go into, they go into a lot of uh, lore and backstory in the second season. A lot, like a lot more than the first. Like in the first season, it was just, oh, Toru, how'd you get here? And it's like, oh, well, I found you here, blah, blah. And that's kind of like now Toru is just being uh, Miss Kobashi's maid. And hatched from an egg. Learning about, hu <laughs> learning about human civilization and like how to cope with it. Because obviously she's been living with, you know, dragons her whole life. And then season two, you go into like her world a lot. Or you see her world and where she comes from. It's like, oh, shit, this is really fucking cool. So, Did they show any male dragons? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are Dragon Balls no, in no, this. Yeah. <laughs> You, you, you can see Goku flying around in the background sometimes, <laughs> hunting. He's hunting those Dragon Balls. Oh, God. oh no! Just, just that, a different meaning in this anime. That's the, ta that's the Takayaki of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yep. Um, but yeah, Miss Kobashi's Dragon Maid, awesome. Definitely go watch it. it it's only um, twelve episodes a season, so okay. re really easy to watch. Over, yeah, over twelve the episodes weekend. season, ten seasons. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, but that that's one that I really liked this year that I watched. I think it came out during like July, June, July, somewhere in the summer. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just talk about, uh, let me, I'll talk about a couple that I didn't finish. Mm. Um, I think you were going to say, I'll talk about some couple that I didn't like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, well, no, one of them I did like and didn't finish. So uh, this one called Hori Mia. Uh, it was like a, a romance anime. Um, it was by Cloverworks. So they made like Bunny Girl Senpai, Fairy Tale. Um, it was very good. Uh, just kind of fell off while watching other things, so I do want to go back to that. It was kind of like a kid who is seems somewhat like a delinquent, but then at school he's dressed very like proper and like very quiet and very nice, but is somewhat of a delinquent outside of school. I, I didn't get the full context because I dropped off of it, but it was good. Just kind of dropped off. Um, mm -hmm. One that I fell off of was... The world's finest assassin gets reincarnated as an aristocrat because, I mean, episode of, two. The, was that episode two? The, I think it was like no, oh, maybe the, episode the, two or three. I know what but, you're going to Yeah, the sexualization yeah, of yeah, children yeah. was mm -hmm. rough, but even even past that, um, it was just kind of bland. It was it's an isekai, it's a power fantasy isekai, so it's like there's it's not that entertaining it's like oh you I've know more the... of those lately yeah it's there's you, just so many of them you but... know the character is kind of infallible for the most part and you know they're pretty much always going to pull through and it just it's, it gets, yeah it gets it's... boring because there's always like oh there's that like there's that quirky like happy character oh, yeah there's the melodramatic character right there and they were kind of setting this one up as like almost a harem but i'm like these girls are 12 and 14 so i'm like this is fucking weird 
And it's another one of those where, um, well, at least the main character doesn't sexualize the girls, but the mm -hmm. anime does. So I'm just like, this is like, nah, I I'm yeah. good. I'm checked out. It's not even like worth it good yeah it's not worth it no yeah yeah i'm i was i was gonna say too i realized that i've been kind of getting tired of the whole is uh, isekai genre because it's just like you mentioned before there's so many of them and i've really been falling into watching more slice of life anime it's it's a great palette cleansing. Yeah, yeah, yeah no I, it really is like yeah uh, it's just it's just totally different like 180 just very relaxing sometimes it's comedy sometimes it's romance and um, I've been really trying to explore more of that uh, recently. So. Speaking of another uh, isekai, one mm -hmm. that I fell off of was I've been killing slimes for 300 years and maxed out my level. That one is kind of like... That's too long of a name. <laughs> <laughs> it is a very long name. Um, it's an isekai kind of slice of life, and it just got boring. Like, that that was it. Um, mm -hmm. It is... It's nice, and it's pleasant, and if you have nothing else to watch, like, I, you know, I could recommend it. It is very just wholesome and all that but it was just kind of boring <laughs> after a little bit have you noticed that though like anime is starting to get like longer and longer names like back then it was like cowboy bebop yeah, Dragon, Naruto. You know, now it's like how i got reincarnated into a slime 2000 years ago or, like yeah is it is it illegal to pick up girls in a dungeon like <laughs> your names are too long now <laughs> it reminds me of um i do like that anime but uh i want to watch it. most oh, recent season so was kind of eh it was very mid for me uh the dungeon anime uh very very mid mm. season last time but uh i still enjoyed it um, but yeah, you know what it reminds me of? Like old emo band song names, oh, like, yeah. from, like the mid two thousands. <laughs> they're just the longest shit ever. Or even yeah, band names or something. Wasn't names. um, uh, what was their band? Uh, what, what? There's this one band called uh, uh, "The World Is a Beautiful Place" and I'm no longer afraid to die, <laughs> which is pretty long. What was the one band that was like? I wanted to name my song this, but my like. My uh, oh, my, that was Fallout Boy song. Was that Fallout Boy? Yeah, yeah where the it was like made to change the name. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's yeah. like that's such a long name. <laughs> oh, they get even longer than that, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. Gives me that same energy. What else you got? I um, got Berserk. Berserk. Okay. I never watched it though. I just read it. Oh, I mean, you can't watch it. It's like almost impossible to watch because they never finish it. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah, they, that'll do it. I've heard. I've heard. Just read the manga. Yeah, they yeah. literally oh, like every single anime gets up to um like the hellish part of the the manga or like the anime and then it stops after that and it's like oh yeah we went bankrupt or we can't like we're not doing it again yeah because there was a 98 one and then there was like the what 2018 or something there was like no, no, at no, least we, four or five we, of we them don't, we don't talk about the 2016 one. i that love was, the 2016. that was like, oh, that was like the full okay. cgi oh, that's man. i love that one that one was so good Jimmy, um, please. what that else was so I good have? jimmy please <laughs> okay so i'll knock out the other two isekai that i have uh, ReZero Season 2 Part 2. I heard that was garbage. What? No, I, mean, I didn't. I was like, that no, was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't, you didn't I want to watch it. Though? No, I did. Oh, oh, okay. This oh, yeah. Those back were to all. Yeah. Gotcha, I, uh, gotcha. I'm, I'm done with the ones that I ReZero is the, the girl with the. Um... Ram and Ram? Yeah, there's Ram and Ram, Amelia. Uh... Oh, which is the one with the red, the red dress girl? Oh, Tag Top Destiny. Yeah. No, the other one. The one that Jen cosplayed as one time. Darling in the Franks? No. I don't know what you. ReZero. No. No, the Tag Top Destiny was at Anime NYC. She the uh, girl that everyone thinks she's based off of. Oh, you talking about Evangelion? Maybe is that the, she, like that's the, a, well, it's another little mech devil, anime. little like red devil horns. That's Darling in the Franks. Is that yeah? Pink, pink hair. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's zero two. I don't know. Yeah, zero two. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I thought that's what um that was. No. <laughs> um. No. Re zero is um. Are you sure you haven't seen them? Uh, I'll pull up a little image real quick. I know who they are. I've just never seen them. I feel like I'm going to get smacked in the head. I feel her getting close to me. <laughs> oh, okay. Who is she pointing at? Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. They're, they're zero two. I thought I thought I was going to get like, smacked in the back of the head because I felt the footsteps getting closer and closer. <laughs> Jen is super mad. Um, <laughs> just get punched like donkey kicked in the back of the head. <laughs> no, ReZero. ReZero is uh, with Subaru. Um, Subaru. Is Subaru? Yes. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Well, it is a name, but yeah, this? Yeah, I know that one. I never watched it. I just know it. Okay. No, it, it it's very good. It's uh, it's one of the good isekai, for sure. Because um, it kind of... People had a problem with the main character at first, because it's one of those where he's, you know, he dies and is reincarnated in a new world, but his power is basically returned by death. So it kind of works in a video game sense to where, like, 
he'll get to a certain checkpoint, and if he dies, he'll return oh, to that. Oh, isn't this the one where you and Jen were talking about with the really creepy villain? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 Yep. Beetlejuice. Um, Don't say it three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and then the mic's cut. Uh, but no, it is very good. But uh, people had an issue with him at first because they were like, oh, he's kind of like a crybaby and this and that. And it's like, well, like, he has to watch very tragic things happen around him and then die what? you gotta watch your parents die 15 times loser you can just cry about it it's basically it's basically like that and it's like what would you do in that situation you would be you would be losing your fucking mind i mean also. honestly also like all good animes usually have the big cry baby naruto uh dragon ball z would go on uh fucking um my hero my yeah my hero deku was a big cry baby yeah all the good animes have like at least one cry baby. yeah it's annoying but it's always a good anime. Uh, Zenitsu. Demon Slayer. Zenitsu. Yeah, but he's not really a main character. But you heard it here first. Those are the what? only good anime. He's not really. He's not a main character. He's literally part of the he main, is a main trio, character, bro. What the fuck are you sure. talking about? He's, he's the main side character. Uh, he's still a main <laughs> one. He's definitely a main character. <laughs> what? <laughs> I could do without it. He's like, he, he says, and he's just not a main character. I'm like, bro, he's on the cover art and everything. Uh, yes, I'm is. sorry. Uh, Piccolo's on the cover art of Dragon Ball Z. Is he a main character? Yes. Y yes. No, he's a side character. Uh, all right. We're not. I guess he's supporting cast, but he is still a. Okay, I'll, I'll deal with that. He's another topic right, for Zen another time. Zen yeah. Uzo is supporting cast. Then. Zen Uzo? Huh? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. He doesn't even. He doesn't have no respect. Zen Uzo, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to move on. So, ReZero, <laughs> ReZero fantastic. Right, so Another isekai uh, that time I got reincarnated as a Slime Season 2. Mm. Um, I like Season 1 a lot better, but I was still entertained. And uh, there was this one character, Veldera. Um, he, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil much, but no, I'm just... I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Ign I ignore what I'm doing on the keyboard. Um, he, uh, he references other anime, and uh, at one point he uses a Kamehameha and like a Hadouken and stuff well, like that. Yeah, it's super I was like cool. Jujutsu Kaisen, awesome. where Jujutsu Kaisen, um, Itadori was like, what? I want to use the Kamehameha, the Rasengan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it was like that. They threw that in there. I was um, like when they reference like other animes. Uh, like, yeah. they kind of put them in the in the real world. You know yeah. what I mean? They're like, yeah, oh, I watched Dragon that exists Ball. in that world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's great. And they're like, no, you idiot, that doesn't exist. We do this instead. <laughs> yeah, season two, I was a little disappointed on. It was a lot of like setup and stuff, but I, I was still entertained. It was still fun. Um, and that's it for Isekai. I have a couple more, but if you if you want to listen to yours, well, I was I was gonna go down the list of anime that I didn't watch this year that I actually wanted to or like either oh. start. Or two. Let me oh, just run. I'll run through the rest of mine then. Oh, okay. Um, to Your Eternity. Uh, very good if you want to cry. Uh, it's by Brainspace Studio, which mm -hmm. stated, uh, do ra ra ra, which is often abbreviated to. <laughs> um, that was a super cool, super cool anime. Uh, they also did Teen Romantic Comedy, uh, Teen Romantic Comedy, Snafu. Mm -hmm. Um, it, it's, it's been really cool so far, To Your Eternity. Um, I know the manga is very popular. It's it's very cool, very interesting topic, but uh, I'm not going to spoil too much because uh, the first couple episodes reveal a lot, so I, I won't go too into it, but that one is very sick. Uh, Tokyo Avengers, I watched part of, read gotta, the rest of it. I got to finish it. I, I stopped after um after he went back in time, like this, the second season I think I got up to with the car crash. You know what I'm talking about? Don't spoil it. I'm not but, I'm uh, just saying car crash. Uh, there's yes, multiple, I, I know, there's like I know multiple car crashes in that. Anime. There is. Yeah. <laughs> I, know oh, no. yeah. yeah I, know, I know what there's you're talking about, though. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. There's at least like 10 other car crashes in that yeah. anime. <laughs> it gets much better. That That's all, That's on my list of anime that I haven't watched this year that I wanted to. Um, also, quick, um, ReZero was another one. and Oh, you never watched it? No, uh, I've never watched oh, ReZero. Boy. And I don't know if you mentioned another one. Uh Promise Neverland and I heard that was so really what, good, but I heard the ending was season. terrible. I think the second season or the ending of yeah, one of them they dropped the ball like real hard. Yeah, because so what remember, I've heard is just read it. I remember a lot of people were like, "Oh my god, it's such a good anime," and then after like the last season, they're like, "This was terrible." Never mind. And then um, <laughs> so what? I'm a no, so I'm a spider. So what? Oh yeah, I wanted to watch. I that was thinking, too. I was thinking about, it, but that's just another isekai one though. Yeah, isekai I, I slice think. of life comedy kind of deal. Yeah, yeah, I wanted to check that out too, but continue. Um. I watched Fina Pirate Princess, which was pretty cool at first. It was like a fun adventure anime, but they really just dropped the ball with the ending. Like they, 
they made it convoluted and like really didn't know what to do with it it seems mm. so, is that the is that the one that you wanted us to all watch yeah so now you don't have to watch it anymore <laughs> it's, it's not good <laughs> no that, the end it, it disappointed me for sure because okay. i was having such a good time with it and then they just like threw too much shit in there if oh, they had, it was like one of the like the rushed ending they're like let's do this this and this yeah like they they should Kinda have like made tokyo it a 24 Ghoul. episode oh fuck no, we're not talking about <laughs> tokyo go but they should have made this a 24 episode uh thing but i uh they, they should have at least doubled the length is is what it came down to mm. but uh yeah that i'm still watching tacked up destiny very cool so far um having a great time with that one and uh comey can't communicate this one uh the studio is interesting it's olm studio they make pokemon like all of all of pokemon they're the studio oh, for that really and also the original berserk <laughs> so like that's strange and uh odd taxi so i'm like this studio is very interesting but they yeah. dip their finger into now, all the pots yeah <laughs> now this is you, you've watched comey right yes okay. oh, i love oh, okay. comey yeah that, that was on that was on my list of anime i've watched this year so far and yeah comey comey can't communicate is fantastic it's so wholesome the, yeah it, it's so wholesome and the humor i've is it's it's so perfect yes because you get a scenario where she gets sent somewhere to go order something and you're like all right how's you're thinking how is it going to play out is she going to say something obviously no <laughs> you're like okay get that out of the way is someone going to help her maybe and then all of a sudden it'll be just like the guy behind the register just goes, "Oh my God, I can sense what she wants. Yes. I've been I've been working here for twenty years. I I know what the and then he just doesn't give her the right thing. Yep. And it's just like what this is incredible. No, here's, I love it. Here's a tomato. Fan, I didn't want that. Fan, <laughs> com, exactly. Incredible, fantastic anime. It it just started. It's on Netflix. Um, I think there's like nine, ten episodes out right now. I think nine. Yeah. Um, again, go watch that. Go yeah. watch. It's so good. Fantastic. It's yeah. so wholesome, and, and funny, the, and the art is awesome. The animation is incredible oh and, yeah and the intro the op so oh, it's so, so good, good. And, yeah but the art in it too like the scene where she like jumps, it's even better where yeah. she jumps and like kicks her feet and all the desks explode yes that, that scene is so good yeah I'm the like, animation dude, yeah oh, it's Big so time. fantastic yeah awesome, um, awesome awesome and that is yeah that's it for me that's what i've watched this year no it's really good i, that I know you're not gonna watch dan what castlevania oh, yeah i'm not gonna watch it i know it's so good though. Yeah, I just I, I have multiple friends that have told me to watch it. It's so and good. they say it's incredible. It is. It's that's, fantastic. That's the only thing I've heard is that it's incredible. But uh, I threw it on and um, I couldn't deal with the voice acting. Like yeah, it was just it's over the rough. top. Yeah, it was over the top. Like uh, like oh, Renaissance I'm Fair sarcastic. Actors. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's so good though. The last season that just came out was fucking amazing. It was so good. How good? Uh, like. I'll I'll live vicariously Good. through you. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna watch it. Hold my hand, Hold my hand in. No, it's uh, sweaty. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, hard spaghetti. My hands are sweaty. Uh, Vomit on my sweater already. No, <laughs> let's get this bready. I don't know. Oh, Eminem. let's get this. No, let's get the ziti. Let's get the ziti. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jen just <laughs> laughing in the corner. Like, you laughing at us, Jen? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. Um Jen Jen's but, like that like the way Jen's laying right now, it's like that like that ten year old cousin who's like, You got any phones in your game? <laughs> you got any you got games, any, on, you your got any games <laughs> on your phone? <laughs> She's like she <laughs> <laughs> Um Yeah, but you mentioned it before, Tokyo Revengers. I gotta watch that still. Yes. I haven't watched it or read it. And yeah, yeah, I, I read know, it. you you you're telling me just read it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna start I, reading I'll, prob it. Yeah, I'll probably watch off. it. I'll probably watch it first and then no pick I, up. I, I'm gonna watch it, like it, because it's the just voice shonen, actors right? are really good. And yeah. Yeah. Like um uh Dra Draken. That's Draken. Yeah. His voice is really cool. Yeah. Also uh also has a crybaby in it, from what I've seen. Takamichi. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. uh Big time. He, he's, like, he's really bad. <laughs> part of it's understandable. You know, I, I get part of it being frustrated not knowing what to do especially because he is very weak dude it just pisses me off because there are so many scenes where i'm like just do something because he's just standing there right, watching everything above. happen yeah do it <laughs> well no Ooh. are you telling me you haven't you didn't sit there and like say that while watching it because like there's literally he can do anything to stop what's happening he's like i'm just gonna sit here and cry the whole time he's like shut up yeah for sure yeah uh you already lived this <laughs> <laughs> there's another anime that I want to watch, and it is um, the great Jahi will not be defeated. Me too. I, I really want to watch, that want too. To watch it. My friend at work is watching it, and he says it's all it's great. It's a, it seems a like a cool it's, comedy. It's, yeah, yeah, it's a comedy slice of life. Like, yeah. Demon ruler comes to Earth, loses like her power, or 
most of her powers yeah right, and tries to you know live with the uh, real world and like, yeah oh what do you what is this what is you know she's yeah. learning about it. and i've seen clips of it from crunchyroll or just whatever on the internet and i'm like all right th- this i have to watch as well same yeah i really like uh i remember seeing um pictures or uh, like manga panels or pictures or drawings of like artists drawing her and i'm like where is this character from like wh- what's going on and apparently it was really popular and obviously yeah. it, it, it was popular enough to get anime so yeah. that's another one on my list from this year that i want to catch up on yeah and, same and here watch. uh i'm just going through my list right now of what i haven't watched because i haven't watched a lot <laughs> <laughs> i put off a lot and yeah. it's annoying but i really 2022 i really want to try and catch up on a lot of shit if i can I'm gonna make it a goal. Okay. So I don't believe. I, you. I think I'm gonna start reading instead of watching now. <laughs> you say I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't believe me. <laughs> I mean, that's stop, stop that's fair. I don't believe me either. <laughs> I feel like reading is better now than watching it, just because, like, I'm so used to reading One Piece now, where I'm like, oh, I'm almost done. Like, I I passed half the people I know who watch One Piece. I passed where they're at now, and they've been watching it for like months now. Oh, look at me. I'm Jimmy. I can read. <laughs> God. Look, look at me. I can read two sentences at a time. Get out of here with your <laughs> your literacy supremacy. <laughs> Wait, what, what chapter are you up to now? Uh, good question. Let me look it up. I, I remember last time you told me you were at like eight something. Yeah. That's wild. Um, what uh, where, where did you start reading from? Zero? Like, well, yeah. The first Literally chapter? Literally first oh, chapter. That's crazy. I'm on chapter 911. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> This is great. Uh, every, I, love, I love this episode. It's just featuring Jen every now and then. Yeah, just, in the background. just tackles in the background. <laughs> yeah. Yep, 911. <laughs> yeah. oh man uh that uh, that's it for my list though i, I don't personally have anything else I, what about you jimmy is there anything that caught your eye this year that you you wanted to watch or that you just didn't get a chance to see no <laughs> jimmy why <laughs> jimmy just has the easiest answer just, yeah no no, no. Well, like i mean not really like besides um lock blue i think it was or like blue lock blue period oh blue yeah, lock blue, you said. blue period <laughs> no that's that's an anime that looks sick no that is really yeah, yeah. No, what? it looks cool. Yeah. Sometimes you get the red period. Now we get the blue period. Oh Jesus! <laughs> um, you know, I wasn't gonna say anything or go there, and then Jimmy just had to take that extra step. Red versus blue, Dan. <laughs> um, oh, we no no. How do what? people? How do people like our podcast? No. Huh? I don't think they do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they actually do. Oh my god, this is amazing. Anyway, what about red versus blue, Dan? Gang wars? I thought you were gonna say red versus blue. The Rooster Teeth show. Halo. Oh no, no! I don't know. <laughs> oh, no. Is. They it, have a they have a mode called Red versus Blue. Yeah, it's Jesus really funny. Christ, it's actually really funny. I remember watching that when I was in like middle school. It's not good. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you, you never heard Red versus Blue? No, we're talking about like a real series. I'm yeah, no, no, no. Now I get that. Oh, uh, okay. okay. No, oh, you, I just thought of Bloods versus Scripts, and oh, I, I was very surprised. <laughs> they, they, oh my god. Yeah, I was surprised <laughs> they would name something Red versus Blue. Yeah, especially okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is right off. This one's, this one's downhill. That's it. Cut it out. Um, <laughs> I quit. Um, but, but yeah, yeah so. Um, they had a, yeah, Halo series so Red versus Blue. It's very um, funny. Okay. Good laughs. So, Blue Lock sounds interesting. What yeah. is it about? Uh, is that the soccer one? Yep. Okay. Yeah, uh, wait, like, that came out this year? I still no, never watched that trailer. Year. Oh, okay, okay. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I didn't either. <laughs> no, I'm gonna stop messaging in the group chat now. <laughs> you message in the group chat? Oh, I need. <laughs> no, I don't none of y'all appreciate my presence. <laughs> I think you're just still a phone number. I don't even think I saved your name. <laughs> I don't even know who it's for, used to messaging in the group for, chat for a while before I knew your last name. You're Brian Podcast. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> and then I, I found out your last name tonight. So oh man. Huh? Oh. So now I have your actual name. You know how many people I do that to? I, I know, I know, like eight John. So it'd be John like, Applebee's. John, yeah, John Work. Uh, John, you know, high school. John, I just Until sound you like, meet an actual guy named John Work, and you're like, oh fuck, which one was it? <laughs> oh, I made that mistake one time where I forgot to put like distinguishing features on my phone, mm-hmm. and it was like I have like three people named like Jessica or like Steven. I'm like, fuck, which one's the one I want to message? <laughs> I used to be very bad with that. Yeah. <laughs> That's why anytime I save save somebody's name that I know I have multiple of, I'm like I gotta put something in parentheses, just anything. It could be like I met you, I met met you at a rave or or work or a show or I don't, I don't know, it's just something. <laughs> I'm like I need to specify who this is. Dan is Dan Eggplant. <laughs> why? 
Oh, no. no, you're just Dan. Okay, I was like, <laughs> hmm? oh, yeah. okay. God damn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's it for me, though. Yeah, I, I, I'm out of my list. What about you? Yeah, I'm all out. All out? Yeah. Um, Just a reminder, today we're recording this on a Monday. We just released our Anime NYC vlog on our Ooh, YouTube. It is so fucking good. Dan edited the video. It was his first video that you ever ever done, yeah like, ever uh, and it is so good it's not uh, all biased thank you, thank you. no uh, <laughs> no I'm, I'm talking just just from dan himself oh, like yeah. just like seriously like i watched i'm like this is really fucking good like you, you did the edits like to the beat on mm. some of the songs yeah, I was no, like, this it was good is, yeah, yeah seriously i would no. say it just sounds a little biased from the guy who recorded the whole thing <laughs> <laughs> i love the the, the camera the, work wow the video description Immaculate. where it's like we we mostly brought <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah oh my god we'll work on um, that next time no yeah but yeah you, you did um, good job editing it it thank dope. you thank you yeah but for the listeners if you haven't seen it yet uh check it out um this is gonna go up thursday so i assume by then conservatively we'll probably have what 100 100 million views yeah on? yeah probably I'm guessing around there trending yeah. number one on we're, we're gonna, we're gonna be so. in the youtube recap Re that's YouTube probably it, one, yeah you know <laughs> um no but yeah give it a shot but yeah as as the date of this recording and upload it's the 13th of december and then uh we're gonna release this episode on the 16th, 16th. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So. also if you guys did go to anime nyc send us uh send us what you got on instagram Ooh, yeah definitely yeah. I, we would love to see your haul we, we we posted all of our stuff at the end of the video of what we got and also if you go and watch the video and you recognize any of the cosplayers um yeah feel free please, to tag please them. tag them in, in, or yourself in, in, and yeah tag yourself tag your your friend in in either the youtube comments or on their instagram post because um that was just the one thing i i just didn't get a lot of people's instagrams and i felt bad and i was like oh man i have to remember next time we go to katsu to write some names down yeah. i know the hawks guy had a sign so i was like oh yes perfect. that was pretty easy yeah <laughs> um yeah. But yeah, I'm super excited about the video. It looks awesome. If you could go check it out and give it a like, and we'd really appreciate it. Um, but I think that about wraps up this episode. And yep. I mean, this, like I mentioned before, this is the the last episode of the year. And, you know, just, just to think that me and Dan, we met on the cosplay party boat back in like July. And we were talking about, yo, we should go do a podcast. And it was like, yeah, I'll do it with you. And yep. we started recording in like August and... You know, here we are now with how, like how many episodes are we up to? You know, like we're 12, over, 13, we're yeah, yeah, something you know? like that. And it's it's awesome. It's been such a blast. Yeah, and for sure. I, I I can't wait what 2022 holds for us, and we hope just to get better. And hopefully, everyone has a good holiday. Yeah, has a great New Year's, and we hope that 2022 will be a lot better just in general. You know, with the world and everything Can only going hope. on. Can but, only. Um, Cannoli. I heard cannoli. Cannoli hope. <laughs> cannoli hope, baby. But um, uh, that's my name. But, cannoli uh, Cannoli hope. <laughs> with the with the holy cannoli, we're gonna wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for watching or listening. If you're watching on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Apple Music, wherever you're listening to Compact Crew. Spoofy. <laughs> Jimmy, why? <laughs> you ruined that outro. <laughs> But thanks for listening, thanks for supporting us, and we will see you in 2022. Yep. Peace. See you later. Later.